Well, it's still the season for uh, Christmas presents. And after, after I returned that uh, Canon Rebel T5i, I still kind of like the feeling, you know, like these are, it's a great line of cameras, no matter uh, which, which one you pick. And I like Canon better than Nikon. So I, got, I did a lot of research online and I found that this was uh, basically a professional camera, but still affordable. I mean, it costs a lot of money, you know, like, <laughs> but I'm going to keep this one. And this is, this sells as a kit. So this is 70D. Uh, it just came out, I think, in September. Now it's, uh, what, October 2013? And it comes as a kit with a STM lens, which now I know is essential for uh, video shooting. It's a EFS 18 to 135 millimeter uh, STM lens. And this kit sell, uh, was selling for uh, uh, $100 more in Canada, but then we have, uh, that's before tax, and then we have 13% tax in Ontario. So I figured I would be smart and I would buy it in the States where it uh, retails, where the sales tax is lower and the price is lower. <laughs> then I started paying with my Visa card, which takes money out of my Canadian bank account. And I quickly found out that right now the Canadian dollar is only 95 cents for uh, $1 US, which means that because I was paying with Canadian dollars, I paid more. So I don't know. Did I save anything? And now I have to declare this when I'm coming back to Canada, so they'll probably slap me with some uh, HST or 13% tax. Uh, no matter. Anyway, uh, I didn't look too much at the camera itself, but uh, I played with it at the store, so I know that it's, it's uh, bulkier and bigger, of course, and heavier than, uh, than the Rebel. And that's what we're doing here. We're comparing Rebel and, and um, 70D. But if that one made me feel like a serious photographer, this one makes me feel like a professional photographer. And don't laugh, you know, it's uh, self-esteem is important, you know. It's not, uh, I believe uh, fully that uh, more expensive equipment does not make you a better photographer, but if you think that you're a better photographer, you will take better pictures, you know. It's like self-esteem thing. Anyway, so that's just the body here. So that's number one. So it makes you feel like a professional photographer compared to Rebel. Oh, before I do this, I'll show you this. Number two is it has a better charger. Like the charger is bigger, it has these lights here, which actually tell you uh, like how much charge you have, you know, 0, 50%, 75, 100, which is cool, you know, if you only want to charge the uh, battery you know let's say you just need to make that vital shot you know maybe you have some kind of assignment for a newspaper or something and you don't have a spare battery then this allows you you don't have to wait you know three hours or two and a half hours to fully charge it you can just look at these lights here because they start you know lighting up and then like just uh, here I was charging and then the truck oh, okay it shows hundred percent and also it has this these prongs the charger on the Rebel, you had to connect the wire. So, you know, it's like attention to de detail, and I like this. So, because the camera is bigger, it's and it's a professional camera, so the Canon pays attention to, uh, you know, even small details like this, so that you don't carry, in, uh, you know, junk in your, in your camera bag. And I like this better than when you have to connect the wire, you know. And this, and the battery itself is bigger. Uh, and I tried to charge it. I went in the morning to the restaurant just to have some breakfast. And I, I thought, you know, while I'm eating there, uh, there was a plug in the wall. I thought I would wait. And uh, like the Rebel battery, it only took like half an hour because it was half charged from the store. Uh, it took half an hour to complete the charge. But this one, I was there like for an hour, hour 15, and I still look at the at this thing. And even even 50% uh, light was not blinking so I said forget it I have to start driving because I'm on my way to South Carolina in my truck so I was in uh, Harbor Creek at the T8 uh, travel center and I just went and bought this uh, inverter 400 uh, watt inverter this is only like 39 bucks you know just plugs into your uh, cigarette lighter adapter 
And now this is my first stop after I left the uh, Travel Centers of America in Harbor Creek. Like I drove maybe what two and a half hours and the charge is complete. You know, and you just see this is perfect. You just I just I did like this. Put it you know here and then you switch it on. Just make sure that it doesn't move. I put some uh, rubber mat under it so that it doesn't jump, you know, when the truck is jumping over potholes. So this is great. Now I'm all set. I can do mobile charging. Oh, and it folds like this, you know, cool. I'm telling you, like, it, it, kind of like, you know, professional grade. And uh, from the... Uh, from my uh, rebuild purchase, I kept this uh, monopod, you know, nice, and it's a Manfrotto, with, uh, a known name, and I kept this memory card, so that's what we, we're gonna do, like, sample pictures. I'm gonna use the same uh, professional 16GB uh, uh, SDHC, and it's that US, uh, you know, like, very high speed, 600 uh, times speed so it's faster than a regular SD card that's what you need for professional images so what else is what else struck me as uh, as different okay so yeah so the uh, the lens in the kit is as I mentioned is STM lens and the Best Buy in Canada before did not tell me that you need this uh, you know because my major focus is video of course as you you know know you're watching this on YouTube right and the guys in Canada did not tell me that you know the old uh, USM lenses don't work with the autofocus on this one. and this one so it's uh, 18 to 135 macro so it even has a macro mode uh, autofocus stabilization uh, lock. Yeah, but over here somewhere. Yeah, you see on the top there. On the top it says STM, and that's what you need to take advantage of the new uh, autofocus autofocus technology. Now I'm still learning how to use how to use this. Like how do you? you know, I don't want it to fall off. You know. But I'm not gonna connect it now. I'll do some shooting at the, at the end of the day. I'll just uh, show you guys the body. And, uh, the belt comes with it. The shoulder, you know, thing and the shoulder strap and it says 70D on it. You know? <laughs> cool. And there's a cable which looks like uh, more solid than the one I got with the Rebel. This looks a bit thicker. Because this camera uh, has a higher, much higher resolution, right? It has a, a better processor, which they say is 30% uh, faster than the one on uh, Rebuild T5i. It shoots up to 7 frames per second. And most importantly, it has the new, as they say, revolutionary uh, technology for autofocusing. I think it's called uh, double pixel something, but anyway, it's, it was specifically designed to make this a better video camera, and that's what I like, and that's why I decided to spend extra money and get this 70D, a really professional camera. But let's finally take a look at the body itself. So this is <laughs> my new Christmas toy. You know, it has the same. Uh, uh, flip out screen which uh, rotates so you know you can take you know nice when you shoot yourself but the controls are different like this knob the central knob and the rebuild was on this side here it's on the left side but now you have this little screen which shows so even if you uh, keep your uh, display shot you can still see some numbers here oh by the way and the rebel I just uh, remembered I forgot to say that the only way to uh, check how much charge you have in your battery, right, is put the battery in and then you you will see how much charge you have, right? But with this charger, uh, you don't have to do that, so, you know. 
Uh, okay, and so that's the camera itself, right? What else? What else? Uh, what do I say here about the features? So yeah, faster frames per second, uh, high resolution. What is this? 24 megapixels. So it's great to make uh, big prints. Uh, so it comes with the same software to work with images. Um, oh yeah, 20 megapixels. 20 megapixels. Uh, ISO, I think the same. 12, 12,800, the top maximum. Yeah, but seven frames per second. And most importantly, uh, instead of nine autofocus points, this one has 19. And I really thought this was important, you know. And then it has, yeah, this double pixel AF, this new autofocusing technology. Um, oh, and also I think the lens, when you use the viewfinder to look at the, to, you know, when you compose your shot, this uh, viewfinder is more accurate because I think this one has uh, gives you 98% of the actual, uh, you know, shot what you can see was the rebel only showed you 95 percent so that's why let's say if you're shooting something and there's a branch or a twig or a tree or a dead body there you will not see it you know and then of course you can check on the display right after the shot right but because you only see 95 percent or what are you shooting so i think 98 is better right so i'm gonna attach yeah now my battery is full I'm going to attach the lens when I stop at the end of the day and then I'll go do some some uh, sample pictures. Uh, but of course it feels heavier but also uh, so uh, women, uh, f women, female photographers might not like this. Uh, I would say a rebel f for them would be better especially if they don't plan on you know shooting too much video and making big prints that's still a pretty good camera because this one is probably I don't know maybe 30% heavier you know so what's the point of having a camera if you're not gonna use it because it's heavy right so you have to choose it choose it based on your on your you know personal preference but I you know I'm a flatbed step deck trucker right so I'm used to hauling chains and straps and stuff like that so I need exercise anyway so I like this oh and uh, another feature and here's a, here's a I like this picture a beautiful a beautiful picture of the camera here with this lens oh and the, yeah another feature is that you see there's a letter W here e EOS 70DW and I started reading the um, you know the manuals and it turns out that this is Wi-Fi enabled which is you know I think a very cool feature right so Rebel I don't think it had Wi-Fi no there was no Wi-Fi so the here so you can transfer images wirelessly to your computer you know or probably even send them to the internet but I'm not sure yet how it works now another thing I liked yes yeah, that they have the same uh, the same uh, uh, set of uh, booklets, but there's another booklet for Wi-Fi function basic instruction manual oh, wow. it's like 20 small pages uh, basic settings for wireless LAN functions cool and yeah they have this uh, what seems like a slightly smaller manual in English and then there's one in, in Spanish I don't think there was one in French because I bought it in the States in Canada we have French there was a manual in French but also what I think what I did not uh, I don't remember having uh, in the bag for Rebel was uh, this quick start guide you know which is really cool you know just like most gadgets when you buy something there's a quick start guide if you don't want to deep go deep into the manual if you want to start shooting in automatic mode you know just grab this one okay step one you know insert the battery step two insert the card Three, attach a lens, set the lens focus mode, switch to a, uh, AP. Uh, yeah, well, I mean AF. And five, set the power switch to on. Set the dial to A, scene intelligent auto, and that's it. You're ready to shoot. You know, focus, press the button um, halfway, the shutter button halfway to focus. 
push it fully, take the picture and review the picture on the screen because it shows for two seconds by default you can change that uh, if you don't like it, delete it if you like it, keep it, Just keep shooting you know, I like this so it's, uh, like I mentioned, it's uh, this attention to detail what you notice right away with this camera and uh, oh, and this is the back I wanted to show you guys here's uh, I decided to not um, to take the default you know standard old boring uh, bag that you carry on your side because it's so heavy and then you become just lopsided you know? this one you carry as a backpack and so it's much better for your posture you know it's easier especially since this is a heavier camera but also what I like is that you can you can uh, put the camera here with the lens down here this is, is you can move this adjust and so you don't have to detach the lens from the camera, especially, you know, here it's only one lens, right? What's the point of taking it off each time and wearing out those connections? So that's how I would, you know, how I would use it. Just put it in here, lens points this way, it's all soft, you know, there's a whole bunch of pockets, you know, for your SD cards, wires, pockets here, I don't know what is this for, work gloves, something here, pockets everywhere. But this is pretty, of course, it's pretty expensive, it's about like, I think, 60, 65 bucks. So, that's my new toy, and that's a quick comparison with the Rebel T5i. So, if any of you guys uh, want to buy my camcorder, let me know, because now I, d I, I don't have a need for this uh, HD Panasonic with an extra battery this is like long-lasting you know premium battery I paid like 40 bucks for this and the charger and this bag if, if someone could take it off my hands for 100 bucks and you pay shipping I'll be uh, I'll be uh, quite happy so, stay tuned for uh, sample pictures with the new Canon EOS 70D with EFS 18 to 135 IS STM lens Wi-Fi enabled.